What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to be setting up the PlayStation 3 wireless controllers on a RetroPie. It's going to be a quick video tutorial to show you how to do it. Let's see what we got here. It's got a standard PlayStation 3 style wireless controller. The model I have is the CECHZC2U. Once again, that's Charlie Echo Charlie Hotel Zulu Charlie 2 uniform. So that's what we're gonna set up. Get these off of eBay. They only run $18.99. You get two for $18.99. I got a total of four. They also come with a little micro USB cord. It's, this one is very small. It's only like three feet, if that. I don't even think it's three feet. But get this to charge it in. Of course, I don't charge it through the RetroPie. I'm gonna plug it into a wall outlet or a PC. Let's get this guy configured. Let's hit over to the retro pie now playstation is going to be really easy of course you want to have a controller that's already configured hardwired i got my nes style controller here going to use that to navigate the first thing you want to do guys is you want to go ahead and scroll over to your retro pie menu uh, so many menus so many menus there we go once in the retro pie menu we're going to go down to retro pie setup in the retro pie setup we're going to go to manage package and under here we're going to set manage driver packages we want to load the driver first for the playstation 3 controller which is here so of course mine is already installed select ps3 controller and hit ok so after you install your ps3 controller we're going to go back to ps3 controller and you're going to go ahead and click ok and then you're going to go to configure slash option and of course you're going to get a warning screen click ok and here you want to go down to where it says pair ps3 controller clone support shanan click that one or Sean Juan, whatever you want to call it and please connect your ps3 controller now to its usb connection to set up bluetooth connection afterwards just connect the controller i'm going to take my ps3 controller i'm going to take the usb cord plug it into the ps3 controller and i'm going to plug this guy into an available port on the retropie you may get that if your controller vibrates, don't worry about it. So we're just going to simply hit the OK as it's suggested. If it vibrates, don't worry about that. We're still going to follow the instructions here. Now that we have it connected through the USB connection, I'm trying to keep my controller from falling off my lap. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And next, we're going to cancel out of here because we have everything loaded that we need. And back out again. And back out again. And back out again. We're almost there. Exit. I'm going to go up while it's plugged in directly to the RetroPie, let's go ahead and configure the input. So we wanna go ahead and hit start, configure input. Are you sure? You wanna go ahead and hit yes. Two game pads are detected on the vibrating PS3 controller. So we're gonna go ahead and press the A button, which is the O button. So it detected. So now we're gonna go through the respective menu options. Up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, Left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, right thumb, left analog up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Hotkey enable is gonna be select and press okay. So now you have that done. Let's move over to connecting to Bluetooth so we can get this guy wireless. Next, we wanna go up to Bluetooth connection. We're gonna select Bluetooth. Sorry if you still hear the controller vibrating in the background there. We're gonna scroll down to register and connect Bluetooth device. It's gonna search for a new Bluetooth and we should see the controller here shortly. Now from here, you're gonna get a series of MAC addresses. Now I know what all the MAC addresses are. Of course, I named the 8-bit dough that I connected in a previous video. And this here is going to be that 61 connection. So you wanna to connect to whichever MAC address for your PS3 controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and hit OK and hit OK again error occurred connecting to your device if for some reason you get that error let's go back to the retro pie option and let's go back into the setup let's go back to manage packages driver packages and we're going to go back to ps3 controller we're going to go to configuration options go past the warning device and let's go ahead and select install ps3 driver official ps3 if for some reason that doesn't work, try the other options. I did scroll back and I tried pair PS3 controller clone support with uh, Asia just to see. And you also want to do Asia only clone support. And just, just try each of these guys here. It should work. But this one here, I think for some reason, since I do have a lot of clones on the game, this one should work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out. And then I'm going to head back to the Bluetooth area. Now I'm going to go to register, connect Bluetooth devices. <laughs> My controller just vibrated because I needed that other driver that I loaded. And as you see, I haven't done anything else. I have a solid light on there for port two. And I'm moving it now. It's connected, guys. Quick and simple.
So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this guy, cancel out of there. Going to hit OK. So I just took these out the package. I haven't even charged it yet, so my connection keeps dropping. So also look out for that just in case you're wondering why your controller isn't connected. So there we go. We're reconnected again and voila, we're good to go. So there you have it guys, installing the uh, PS3 Bluetooth wireless controllers. They're actually so much easier than the others. If it doesn't work the first time around, make sure you go back to that other area and select those other options, whether it's the uh, clone for Asia or et cetera. And also these PS3 controllers are knockoffs. So I needed that driver from Asia. Make sure you do that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out, Mad DIY. Until next time, peace.